Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new to my channel and you love fashion videos, lifestyle, travel here and there, then hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here on the channel. And in today's video, we speak about seven ways to dress and pack for a faultless travel because when you travel, you want to feel comfortable, don't want to pack too much. So I thought I will give you some tips on that, um, how you can style, what you can wear. I will give you some inspiration and also what you can consider to pack for your travel and give you there also some tips and tricks because I also I experienced it personally. Uh, when I started to travel, I overpacked. I I was bringing uh, bags with me um, like it was a uh, disaster because at the end you don't need that much and then with time and time I really got used to travel and I implemented some uh, tips and tricks so that I had only like a hand luggage, my um, suitcase and then a small bag to the suitcase and that's it for a couple of days and I got asked um, how long are you staying and I said like for example seven days wow and then you have such a small luggage with you um, so I said yeah well it's smart packing you know so and today I want to share with you some tips and tricks and also how you can look stylish look effortlessly chic but also casual and comfortable so i would say let's get into today's video so i would say let's start with the travel outfit what should you wear definitely light layers because the flight temperature is really perfect and right you know it can be then a little bit too cold and suddenly you feel too hot and yeah so that's why layering is key so you have a nice shirt then you have a cardigan or a cashmere sweater, which you can put on or off. And of course, some very comfortable pants. So you can wear like lounge uh, cashmere kind of pants or as well, uh, really nice, comfortable uh, denim jeans. I have like two, three pair of denim jeans. I really can travel in them because they are so comfortable. So when you wear like denim jeans, a uh, simple t-shirt, but then throw over a blazer, it looks amazing, really, really nice. Uh, I will also leave you down below in the description box for you some options and I will link you some uh, pieces so you can go and check them online. And then for shoes, I would definitely go for some very comfortable sneakers. Uh, I would go for like creamy white sneakers because they fit to like almost every outfit, no matter if you go for the denim uh, jeans outfit or for the like loungewear kind of cashmere pants. They fit to both. And they are also easy to take off and take on when you go to the security control. So the next tip is go oversized when you style your outfit. For a look that deftly balances ease and style, opt for clean lines, looks fabrics and roomy cuts. The oversized style looks effortlessly elegant in terms of finishing touches. Uh, a raffia bag, tote bag is the ideal size and shape to carry all you need during a transit. While sunglasses serve a dual purpose, ready for sunshine and touchdown and the perfect cover up for tired eyes. Also, for example, if you take a little nap on the plane, um, I usually also like them to place my at my sunglasses so no one can see <laughs> if I'm sleeping or not. So this is also something I can give you as a tip. And definitely also a uh, lily silk has fantastic uh, cashmere pieces like the loungewear kind of pieces, cardigans, cashmere sweaters. And they are fantastic because I have my um, um, turtleneck sweater from lily silk in this beautiful camel color. When I travel with it and I am take it off, put it in the bag, later I put it out, want to wear it again. 
it is mm, it is in such a fantastic condition like i freshly ironed it so really fantastic no nits nothing it looks perfect um, really really nice so um, this is a really nice travel piece we'll also link you that down below for you moving on to the next one is look to looks loungewear loungewear has seriously upped its game in recent seasons which is good news for our in transit wardrobes for example loropiana has fantastic pieces lily silk Massimo Dutti and it's calling for a maximum comfort and understated luxury. Cashmere track pants and sweater are the ultimate airport style duo. So you can definitely go for the Lux loungewear cashmere set when you are uh, traveling because you can look still very stylish, elegant and effortless in this kind of uh, loungewear airport style. So I will show you here also some examples and here you can definitely see it can really, really look nice. Moving on to tip number four, smart casual. At leisure and tailoring might once have been an unlikely pairing, but these days they are a perfect match, especially when it comes to traveling. Start with some stretchy pants, which are super comfortable and have been a stable for traveling. Then you can uh, combine these uh, stretchy pants with some um, white shirts, white blouse, white t-shirt and add an oversized blazer or a nice cashmere sweater and it offers like this elevated elegance when traveling. And then you pair a nice big bag where you can put everything in. They are so fantastic uh, bags on the market right now like if it's Yves Saint Laurent, Givenchy, um, a Birkin, also if you have a big tote bag, it looks very, very nice. And to this outfit, for example, you can wear some uh, flats, ballerinas, also sneakers, of course, and yeah, shoes, which you can put off, put on very quickly. Moving on to the next one, minimize the shoes when packing your suitcase because you know usually you pack so many things in your suitcase because you think ah maybe this one and that one ah now i will also take this plus this <laughs> but um the truth is you maybe need three pair of shoes when you're traveling maybe four but three yes you know, most women don't need to bring more than three pairs of shoes on any trip. You can bring sneakers when you want to go exercise and are comfortable to walk around hiking or whatever. Then you take a comfortable daytime shoe to walk around in the city, for example, ballerinas or loafers, uh, low boots or sandals. And for evenings, heel sandals, so you have a nice pair of heels when you go out so this is also a must and that's it uh, minimize the shoes and you will have less bags to pack because shoes can take so much space from the suitcase and the bags so the next tip is pack some premium beauty essential products flying can often leave us feeling jet lagged and dehydrated with the combination of cabin pressure recycled desert dry air and low humidity also playing havoc with complexions but a few simple skincare tips will help even the most experienced globetrotter feel refreshed whatever the time zone. To get that plumped glow and moisturized skin, you need to lock hydration in before and during the flight. So I highly recommend you in investing in like two, three, I would say two really, really good premium uh, beauty skincare products to really deeply moisturize your skin because the flights and uh, the air and the air condition it really affects our skin so i really highly recommend you some products i will link you them down below in the description box for you it's from the beauty clinic son vida the best 
um, I have to say, where you can really also see uh, how your skin is changing from uh, day to day. And yeah, this is really, really amazing. It is quite expensive, but I have for you also a discount code for you. Um, I will leave it down below. You will get 30% off, which is amazing. And yeah, it's, it's really worth when you have like, uh, I would say two products, but at least go for one product um, because your skin will thank you for that. These uh, products are one of the purest, cleanest products. Uh, they don't have any chemicals in the products, no perfumes. They have just fantastic products from creams to serums. Uh, they also have like hair care products but the and body care products but the face products amazing the for example the beauty cocktail product vitamin a c e beauty cocktail cream amazing fantastic one you need nothing else because there's everything uh, what your skin needs so pack some beauty skincare products for your skin uh, when you travel um, Go for like in total like a cleanser, a good moisturizing cream and an eye serum. This is three products. This is what you need. So now comes the last tip for today. Get post-flight ready. Short trips often demand that you stroll off the plane and straight into action. The key is here to select fuss-free separates that look put together and won't emerge crumbled from a flight seat. That's why I recommended to you earlier the Lily Silk cashmere pieces. They don't cringe at all. They are fantastic and it's really worth the investment. And if you land in a warmer area, you take off your sweater, your cardigan and just wear your t-shirt. Um, and then you are ready to go because you don't want to feel hot when you land in another very warm country. So cardigans also is easy to slip on and off during and after the flight. And also I would do some touch ups with some uh, powders. I will I would use some setting powder, bronze powder, maybe a little bit of blush and then a nice lipstick. That's it. Then you look fresh when you get out of the plane and also then you feel much better. Maybe add also your favorite perfume and yeah, then you are ready to go off the plane. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and the tips I shared with you. I hope it was useful. Leave me some comments down below. Also let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. I will also share with you some more autumn uh, looks now. Now we go from summer to autumn. Maybe I will do like a summer autumn transition fashion kind of haul. Wishing you a very nice day or evening wherever you are in the world and I see you in the next video. Ciao!